What is up ladies and gentlemen? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is August 5th of 2021. I am here at a creek I've fished a few times before. This is actually the Brandywine Creek. Now, we're gonna take today to just do a little bit of the simple stuff. Just catching what we can catch, just enjoying nature. I've been traveling to all these different places in my past couple videos trying to catch something cool, something different, maybe even something big, something I haven't caught before or done before. And now we're just gonna hang a bit more local today and see what we can come up with and just, just take the day to relax, you know? I'm off work today, so why not do some fishing? I was hoping to do some largemouth bass pond fishing today and I did in fact fish some ponds this morning um, the reason you're not seeing those right now is because I fished those for about two hours and had maybe two bites and it's just the ponds were too much overgrown real thick algae like stacked on top of each other made it pretty much impossible to fish the pond could only cast in the open pockets which they were very little of so now we are back at the creek what we do best creek fishing um i just got a little, little trout magnet tied on here a little small jig to get it started once we get to some of the deeper pools and deeper pockets i might switch back to something a little bit better a little bit bigger target something a little bit more chunky maybe some smallmouth bass some panfish we'll see what we can get into today but you guys just sit back relax and i hope you guys enjoy today's video today coming up here it's a fall fish not exactly what we're after but i'll take it first fish of the day for us nice red on the the fins there gonna go ahead and take a shot and release this guy all right, let's unhook our fall fish here. Nice, easy unhooking. And we're just gonna toss them back there. Came right off the end of that pipe there. I was drifting the trout magnet by in this current. He came out and swatted at it. I thought it was a smallmouth at first, by the way, he was fighting in the current, but just a fall fish. The day coming up here. He's a feisty little guy, but he's a typical creek catch for us. This is a red breast sunfish. You can tell by the long, excuse me, longer ear flap there. And uh, got the two blue stripes by the eyes. And the bright orange belly. Some bluegill have that bright orange belly too. Typically, uh, it's the males that have it a bit brighter than the females. But this guy here always has that bright orange and sometimes even a dark red on the belly there. Nice red on the fins as well. All right, I'm just gonna hook this guy real quick. Looks like we got a nice bridge ahead of us to fish. And he's gone. All right, on to the next hole. Slightly bigger sunfish coming up here. These red breasts really like to fight in these creeks. Super aggressive sunfish. This one's a much nicer size. This one you can really tell it's a red breast sunfish. The ear flap is much more bold. Look, as you can see, he's got caught a couple times before. And look at that bright orange belly. A lot of people still get these confused with pumpkin seeds, but pumpkin seeds can look totally different. There he is, he's gonna go back in the creek here. Here you go guys, we got our first smallmouth bass of the day coming up. On the, the cast immediately after. Water is very nice and clear here. Oh, our line got tangled around him in the fight. There he goes. He's free from our line. It's a small, small mouth, but we'll take it nonetheless. Try to 
There he is. Pretty little guy. Gonna go ahead and unhook our little bass here. Just got him right on the inside of the mouth. He's ready to go back. There he goes. Got another aggressive red breast sunfish coming up here. He is not up oh, and he came off. I was fooling around with him a little too much there. But it's okay. It was just a sunfish, so it's not a big deal. Oh, just had another bite. And another one's on. Tony, these guys are so aggressive. This one's slightly smaller than the one that we had on the line. Oh, there he goes. Let's see if I can go back to back to back. Oh, that was not where the fish were at. Whoops. Size fall fish on here. Let's hope he doesn't get off. Let's put up a decent fight. There we go. Biggest fish of the day so far. Nice little fall fish. Let's go ahead and take a shot and release this guy. Right, let's get this guy unhooked here. Got him right on the side of the mouth. There he is. Last look at the fall fish. There he goes. Decent sized one. I was hoping to catch a smallmouth bass on that cast because I saw him swimming around, but out comes the fall fish. We got yet another species for the day here, species number four on the day. We got ourselves a little bluegill. Oh, and he's gone. But we touched him, so he counts. Been seeing a few northern hog suckers swimming around. A species that I do not have on my list yet. I don't have any live worms to try and get them though. Maybe we'll try and find a spot to dunk some worms before we leave but we'll see they like to constantly swim up and down the stream so it's hard to confirm where and when they're gonna be where this is a bigger size bluegill this will make up for the one that just fell off the line nice little hand sized bluegill this one looks like a female doesn't have the deeper blue around the gill plate there or the um, colors that a male bluegill would have. All right, let's go ahead and release this bluegill. It's pretty far down there. You can tell he wanted it. There we go. Back in the water he goes. All right guys, I've just been catching an endless amount of sunfish here, but not too many. Guys, I've been catching a ton of these sunfish. I just caught this big old bluegill here. And haven't caught much else otherwise. I caught a few more red breast sunfish, um, but that's been about it. Haven't seen any quality smallmouth bass yet, but that is our best sunfish of the day so far. Nice thick old bluegill. Um, back in the water some nice deep pools over here you would think there'd be some good small bass mixed in with these sunfish but not yet another big old bluegill coming up here lots of healthy sunfish not much else though well I don't know where the fish went guys I got to a spot where the creek kind of widens out and there's a big old bridge up ahead and I haven't been able to find many fish back here so I'm starting to think is there any fish back here there's at least got to be some panfish over here the way it gets deeper on that side of the bank with that overhang brush trees all that good stuff i would think there would definitely be fish over here there's something 
What do we got here? Ah, another bluegill. It's a decent sized one, but already caught a good amount of these guys already today. Should have brought the bucket. I could have saved them for some catfish bait later on. Here it goes. Here we go, guys. This is a treasure right here. You see this? That looks like a disc golf disc. Let's see if I can grab it without getting anything super, super wet. Look at that right there. Nice. Yet another sunfish coming up here. There's a bluegill right there I can see in the water. This is probably the most colorful red breast we've caught today. Beautiful patterns on that guy. Still no good sized bass. Haven't even seen one that's over six inches, which isn't good. At least for us catching one. Coming up here, guys, we got ourselves a little rock bass by this rocky structure, of course. Got a lot of spots on this guy. Pretty little fish. Let's go ahead and take a shot and release him. This deep, deep pool here. Saw one smallmouth that was probably in the range of two to three pounds, but couldn't get it on the hook. I tried a crayfish jig. I tried this guy right here. And I also tried a Ned rig, which I broke off. Um, I got a few more deep holes to fish, mainly just this stretch right here. Um, and then I'm probably gonna turn around and start heading back. Been out pretty much all morning long. And my tummy is begging for some lunch. So, make a few more casts, see if there's any fish around here, and then we're gonna call it a day. So stay tuned, and hopefully we can get something pretty good. This is going to do it for today's episode on the Bill Outdoors. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though we didn't get to catch anything quite that big but it was still just a nice relaxing day on the creek great way to spend beautiful weather type of day and now we gotta go see what else we can get into I might fish a little bit on the way back just in this pool on the other side of the bridge and I'll turn the camera back on in the case that I catch anything but, let me, let me direct my voice this way so you don't have to hear the echo. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is going to do it for today's episode. We caught, I believe, four species of fish. Maybe, yeah, four species of fish. We caught the red breast sunfish, fall fish, bluegill. No, we caught five. Fall fish, sun, red breast sunfish, bluegill, rock bass, and smallmouth bass. There we go, five. Five species of fish, so not a bad day. All came on the trout magnet except for the rock bass, which was on the trout slayer, the crayfish imitation version of the trout magnet, and all on the ultralight creek setup, ugly stick GX2 six foot, and the Daiwa Ninja 2000 LT reel with four pound test line. So until next time, this is The Bill Outdoors, and I'll see you later.